this is a Subaru CVT TR690 to come in uh, like 09 Subarus and up, like a Legacy Outback. They don't have a lot of troubles. Um, you get some noises, bearing noises. I think the main problem is uh, there's a thrust washer in the torque converter that wears and it blocks the um, depressurization of the torque converter clutch so the torque converter will stay engaged when you come at low speed or when you come to a stop. It's almost like you know, if you're manual, you're dragging your clutch. Um, they've upped the warranty from five years, 60,000 to 10 years, 100,000. So if you've got an 09er newer um, and you're not over 100,000 miles and you have issues, bring it to the dealer. Anyways, I'm going to tear this one apart. This one was uh, slipping. So I don't know if uh, someone did a service. And they're real critical, they have the right amount of fluid. You definitely don't want to overfill or underfill. The 690 and the 580. So this is a 690. The TR 580 came out in 2011. It's a second generation of this. You can tell the difference. The 690, the valve body is on the bottom. The 580, the valve, valve body is on the top. And also, the 6R90 has four sections. Extension housing, intermediate, your case, and then your bell housing. And three on the uh, TR580. Nothing special. Use your output for your output speed sensor. You got a shim. Go in there. Two shims actually. This is your transfer clutch. Right up here. Take the parking ball out. Transfer clutch. Right here. Transfer clutch is in here. Transfer gear. Cooler return filter, clutch pack. This, I believe, this is reverse. Ring gear to planet. And I believe this is forward. And there is a way you want to put that back together. I'll show you that later. So there's also two seals. Make sure you. Those back in, two little seals are the same ones. Same side. Just want to make sure you got it before we pull the plug, you know. Now the valve body. valve body, how good you can see it here, all these black bolts, take all those out, and then I've had this one apart, it's our core of ours, and there's one other bolt and it's this one, so this one isn't black, so all the black ones and this bolt and the valve body will come right off. Okay, so it looks like there's 12 of them. Valve body. Come right out. There's an electrical connector that comes through. I, I got that out. We used it on another unit I built. So here's the valve body. Now this this is either going to come in the case or it's going to come in the valve body. So this has to come out. 
And the most important one is this one here. That has to come out. And then this will come right off. With the extension, or sorry, the bell housing bolts have to be removed. I just got two left for a demonstration here. But you got to get those from this side. From the, hey, you can see my hands. All right. So let me get those. I think I have two in there. Yeah, the 14s, 14 head. do have to get in on this you'll have to use something like this I got a little scraper that I ground you want to get in where the doll pins are this one doesn't necessarily matter you want to get in where the doll pins are so you don't scratch up the surface and if you do got to go in and go over where a bolt was Off. The bell housing and the sheathing, the primary and the secondary. We'll get to that on the next one. All right, another day. I'm going to finish taking this apart. Or I'm going to finish taking this apart. Let's see. So I got a puller on here, right? I got a puller on the uh, secondary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up and then take these uh, guides off the pins and then check the chain off and then the pulley's out and then I get the, uh, uh, the pinion hold retainer and the diff and I'll take everything apart. Alright, so here we go. want to do is do not want to get your fingers in here in case this slips it'll crush your finger man crush it right off try and stay away from that these pin guides there's two different ones so the bigger one it's actually feed tube also it goes on this side and the littler one littler one goes on this side so these plastic gu uh, guides are the same Worry about mixing those up. Okay. Same thing over here. They only go one way. So this goes on to the guide for the pin. Got my chain's loose. Again, don't put your fingers in there. So you want to get it all the way up so the chain can come as far this way as you can. And just cut it around. You can see where the, how the sheaving it rides on these pins. And this one you can tell, I don't know how if you can see it real good, but it's definitely been slipping. 
the sheathing too. Get out of the way. So now to loosen the pulley. You also, when you pull, you want to pull here, not on the belt where the chain's going to ride. Here's the puller. Then there's going to be, uh, both the secondary end, there's going to be two 14s. You don't have to worry about zip tying this together like on a regular, like on a Nissan CVT, that's a regular belt chain, you don't have to worry about it. By that is you zip tie it otherwise this like the parts will go flying and you take it apart. And then on the primary it's two twelves and these there's a little ceiling gasket so make sure you put those go back on. And then pull the primary out first. I don't know if you necessarily have to. Secondary, sorry. Oh. So there's the secondary, there's a big spring in there. Get a shim. Just put that off to the side. Primary next. Okay. Here's the primary. See in there where it's been wearing. That had a shim also. I believe it's the same. Back to the, to the side. Okay. So here's your pinion. Pinion retainer. So there's a bunch of E20s. For the video, I only got two in. You have two. There's also this piece was here that you'll have to take. Sorry about that. This piece was here that you'll have to take out. And then this should pop up. So here's your pinion. And here's your oil pump. Well, here's your oil pump. Here's your oil pump drive that goes through the chain. I'll show you that. Put that off to the side. And then you can see the, the differential in here. Now a lot of times, uh, well I think the only time that this ever gets fried is if you bring your Subaru to a uh, place that doesn't know what the hell they're doing and they drain the fluid and they think they're draining the transmission fluid but they're draining the differential and it doesn't get refilled, long story short, it waxes that. So there's also one O-ring that comes out. And uh, so that's the diff. And here's the bell house. So here's the, uh, your input shaft, your stator. There's a chain that I'll show you. Chain runs from here to here, and that's your pump drive. But first, take out this input speed sensor. All right. And then, uh, I can do this from the side. Bear with them. I didn't really think about those. So a couple. There's a bunch of twelve. Like again for demonstration purposes. Take them all out, you can leave these two, and then this whole thing will come out if you want to. You can take these off and take this and blah, 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 but you don't have to. So, they give you three spots. Maybe there's four or five spots actually where you can just go gently tap it up. And it'll come. Shims there. Those out. I'll just leave them there. I'll just take this apart quick. I wonder if I 
should uh, see if we get a chain, chain elsewhere quicker. A couple spots to pry. chain is open. Sometimes, yeah, it's stuck in there, but I still get it. Okay. So there's your stator. And this drives your torque converter comes in. Sorry. Drives this, which is this gear, which I have seen this bearing go bad. Makes a noise. And that's connected through a chain to this gear, which is hooked up to here. And that drives your oil pump. Alright. So that's that. Then you get in, get in past that. You get two O rings. And then the shafts, the shaft and your start clutch have to come up together. Start clutch. There's no frictions in there. It's steel on steel, and to get that off, you got to pull this bearing off, and then and then you can take the snap ring, and then you can take them out. And that's that. Uh, next, I will go take the sheaving apart. Pulleys. Oh, 